typical typical now everything that Fox News said is true you know why it's true what they said about black people I'll explain it to you about eating Outer Pops which are probably poisonous or some shit mm. I like the green one the purple duh now I'm going to explain to you why everything they say is true because right after slavery we were forced into systematic apartheid they already raped and pillaged this country to obtain it. Then they raped and pillaged our country to build it. Then they had to let us free. It was time. And when they let us free, you know how many white people were out of work instantly? A lot of them. A lot of work because they didn't have to beat, hunt, and control the niggers anymore. So, automatically, you have a group of people who job it was to keep black people in that place out of work. Instantly, you have created and animosity. Now, with the powers that be, these freed slaves, please, they get nothing. Yeah, you can get a job, but I'd rather hire the white guy first. They had to deal with that shit for a long fucking time. Constantly go, they're nothing. Then they become an asset. We can still slave them. They just won't know they're being slaves. What are you going to do with all those white people who are grown to be angry because of what the slaves have taken from them? So during the course of time, those people try to maintain some kind of to mental balance to control still to this day the people still pull the same strings Obama's probably theirs what better way see they're trying to make people get enraged by forcing us into something that's stupid too bad people won't see what's happening so you got these people growing up through time one group hating the other group with all these other people as a support system just because we freed these slaves that don't mean we have to give them any jobs or anything fuck them my cousin's out of work now because he can't go down there and track no niggers whatever that mentality grew throughout these people. Then, those same black people that they had control, some of them actually became something. And then they had to see that shit. See, people hold people down for a reason. That's why Fox did what they did. To show what they have made us. See, this is what they made us. This is how they made us. Not everybody's like that, but that's all that they'll ever show. Because throughout history, we've been told, niggas ain't no good. That nigga ain't no good. And these are by these people. To our faces. Nigger this. Nigger that. You ain't no good. You ain't no good. And then we hear from old people, you just can't trust some niggas. That's already two strikes. 
and then we sing about it in our music. Fuck that nigga. Kill that nigga. They taught us how to be like those clips. So at this point in time, we act like that so they can show the world. Look how these people are. But they failed to say and show why they made us like that. Oh yeah. And I spoke of white people. These people got it too. Because they was raised to hate us. The poor ones. But when they took this country, they took it. They pillaged the people that were here. Like I said, then they pillaged our country to build it. Once it's up and going, then they fucked the people who they told to beat us and to submission. And now you got two groups of people. But you fail to realize when you separated the poor people, what would happen? Some of them began to intertwine and mingle. Some of the poorest people have to live in the black area. So then their kids started to grow to be black. That changed the whole makeup of their plan because now they have black idiots and white idiots. It's a twofer. Then they start bringing in other races to get them to act just like us. So, you can say I'm tripping out. I have a weird philosophy. But I bet you, if they showed the history, or just the beginnings of slavery, they showed what the slave had to go through. If they would have shown the whole picture then you could have got to that point right there. Explain why a group of people act a certain way before you say they act a certain way, Fox News. It's in our DNA. The pain is still there. And some people just remember. But you taught the young people to say, fuck it. See, overseas, the people rage against the government. Here, we've been taught to rage against ourselves. The poor versus the poor. The rich versus the middle class. And the poor. The middle class try to survive. It's a battle zone already. But they're trying to push us into some kind of civil war. First of all, there are more poor people in America than you think. And poor people who get screwed over tend to unite in the end. That is one thing that will screw their plan in the end. The fact that these people who have been placed against each other one day will stand up to fight against the people who are pulling the strings. Did that circle, did that piece of philosophy pop anywhere in anybody's mind out there? Or am I just rambling like I always do? Hmm, I don't know. But look at the origins of stupidity. And it all goes back to the beginning. Who people hating on right now in America? Think about it. I gotta go. You've been tubed.